I'm Rick and I want to talk about making the recesses into which you put a spear gun trigger mechanism. Some mechanisms aren't too complicated, like this one's just got straight sides, easy to drop in. Others have a more complicated geometry. The Amish mech can be quite tricky. The top plates need to be recessed into the top of the spear gun stock. The mech has to be dropped down and so the spear in the spear channel fits in. To make things more complicated, the top flats are not all exactly on the same plane. So some shallow recesses have to be cut into the surface of the stock. You could use chisels or other hand tools and do it individually each time. But I prefer to use a trimmer router. The secret is a collar. They usually come standard with the um, router when you buy it. The collar needs to be used in conjunction with a stencil or a guide. I made mine by gluing up some plywood. The collar stops the blade of the trimmer and the router from cutting into the guide. It follows the edges of the stencil. But the problem is that the collar is larger than the actual diameter of the cutting blade. You have to make the hole in the stencil just a little bit wider to take account for this extra difference in distance. I only took some basic arithmetic and worked it out. You need to adjust the depth of the base plate. The stencil is just thick enough to cover the collar and you have just a little bit of the blade protruding. This is a sample, not a gun, but it gives you an idea of how it works. And once I've made the stencil, I can do it again and again and again.